What's going on guys? Uh, welcome to another edition of Walking Review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at a production knife and it's a knife that you've all probably seen before. Um, this is the newest version of the Zero Tolerance 0450. It's the Sprint Run in carbon fiber and ZDP 189. Um, so uh, I have a history with this knife. Um, not this one in particular, but this model when the 0450 first came out uh, in all titanium I Jumped all over it because it was pretty much exactly what I wanted in a knife and I loved it. Um, it had its issues Particularly with the first run they did the detent was incredibly strong and if you had your finger anywhere on this lock bar the knife would not flip open it was pretty much like locked shut then uh, about I don't know maybe seven eight months ago when the uh, blacked out version in carbon fiber came out maybe it was only a few months ago I can't remember exactly I bought that one because I love carbon fiber uh, I wasn't crazy about the blacked out blade or the blacked out uh, titanium side but I did like the fact that the knife weight was cut down considerably and yeah that's pretty much why I got it now I ended up selling both of those knives and both times I was kind of disappointed I kind of missed the knife I mean the reason I got rid of them was because there was just that thing that you know I didn't quite carry it because of you know with the first one it was because of the lock bar issues and the fact that it was just very humdrum like a plain titanium flipper that you know there's so many of them with the blacked out version I just I don't like blacked out blades uh, I'm really not a fan I didn't like the blacked out titanium um, so along came this one with the satin blade in a in a nice super steel ZDP 189 um, you know, regular titanium side with the normal stone wash they do, and these blue standoffs. So I figured, you know what, this is going to be the one that I get and keep. And so far, I'm very, very happy with it. Um, some of the issues that the earlier version had, um, namely the all titanium version, like I said, the um, if your finger was on this lock bar, the knife wasn't going to open. Um, that's no longer an issue um, it took them quite a while to break in so you know you had to use it and flip it a, a, maybe a thousand times before it really smoothed out properly and I, I mean I'm sure other people had different experiences that's kind of par for the course with a production knife you know you're gonna get um, variances in the uh, fit and finish and in the action and stuff like that but anyways, um, this one, in my opinion, has the best action out of all the three that I've owned. So the classic and the blacked out version. Um, the blacked out version, I thought the action was even a little bit better than the titanium, and now this one's even a little bit better than that. This one even really hasn't broken in yet, and it's already very close to just kind of like falling shut. It doesn't take much to get that blade to close. So this one has very, very smooth flipping action. Uh, it's just as fast as the titanium version was, the one with the incredibly strong detent. Um, and now you've got an upgraded blade steel, you've got a lighter weight package because of the carbon fiber. Um, I really am a fan of the blue standoffs. This pocket clip uh, is not the standard pocket clip, this is like the uh, 0562 pocket clip or something like that. But anyways, um, I mean, I know you guys have probably all seen this knife before. Maybe a lot of you have owned it. So you probably know the specs. It's a uh, three and a quarter inch blade, four and a quarter inch handle. Um, it's a uh, nice drop point with a flat grind from about halfway down. This knife is a really good slicer. Really great tip for um, opening packages. 
You can see the serial number there is 247. It does have a stainless steel insert. Um, <clears throat> and that also acts as your over travel. This is uh, a caged bearing system. Thank, you know, that's what the uh, smoothness flipping is all about. And ZT does a good job with their uh, new flippers as far as dialing in the detent. Um, everyone that I've talked to who owns one of these newer uh, zero tolerance knives, whether it be the 0450, um, the larger brother, the 0452, the 80, you know, all the, the 800 series, the 900 series, they've really got it dialed in as far as um, their detents, their action, stuff like that. Um, do I carry, I carry a knife like this probably more than you would think, even with all the custom knives that I have. Um, this finds its way into my pocket, you know, fairly often. Um, at least once a week I find myself carrying this knife. Uh, even, you know, it might not have the smoothest action, but it's damn close. You know, and it might not have the best, um, like fit and finish of any knife, but it's damn close. And for a knife that only cost me, you know, I know this isn't cheap. Believe me, I know that it was like 240 bucks when they first came out. Um, and it is a sprint run, so it's probably going to stay there. Uh, but, you know, I've, I've paid a lot more for knives that I was way disappointed in. And this one has been the exact opposite of a disappointment. They did the uh, polished pivot hardware there. Um, this knife just has... They've done everything really well. It's incredibly thin. It's really slim in the pocket. This knife carries exceptionally well, and it's also very comfortable to hold. You know, my, my fingers don't quite fit in this part of the handle, but it's still extremely comfortable. The jimping is decent. Um, it's not the best ever, but it's decent. Give you a shot of that. Um, and it's an attractive knife for sure. You know, they do a really good job with their carbon fiber. Um, they make it, you know, kind of pop with the uh, blue standoffs. Just a really, really well-made knife, well-designed. And um, in my opinion, if you liked, you know, the blacked out version because it had carbon fiber, but you didn't want to, um, but you didn't want the uh, blacked out blade and stuff, um, this is like the dream configuration for me. Carbon fiber with the satin blade. Um, and the plain titanium locking side. All right, guys, I'm going to get going. I have uh, another knife on the way, um, a custom from Les Voorhees that I'm going to be doing a review on later. So uh, look forward to that, and I'll see you on the next one, guys. Take it easy.